hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this is sharon today we are cleaning our kitchen today this is one of the most sensitive areas in a home if your kitchen is not clean enough then you are prone to diseases diarrhea running stomach or upset stomach so it is important to keep the cleanliness of your kitchen and this is how I ensure that I, I clean my kitchen leave it fresh smelling nice super clean and uh, also it's one of the best ways to avoid let's say like cockroaches from roaming um, in, within within the kitchen so um, come along let me take you through what I do or um, how I keep my kitchen clean normally I like boiling my water hot then I'll add um, some detergent I'll add disinfectant and uh, I'll take a very smooth um, cloth piece of cloth that I'll be using to wipe the surfaces so with the detergent that will help remove all the greases all the dust all the dirt on top of surfaces and uh, the warm water also helps to remove all the greases all the oils that have clogged over time so all the dirt on top of the surfaces will be removed um, through hot water definitely um, hot enough that I can be able to dip my hands in the water so it should not burn you because oh hey safety is also very important so the water should be warm enough but not too cold because we need to remove the oils we need to pull them out or, or wipe them off the surfaces uh, because hey in the kitchen we use lots of oil there is smoke there is um, uh, there is uh, food leftovers there's a lot that happens in the kitchen so and we need to have our surfaces clean we need to have our walls clean we need to have the cooking surfaces clean so we need to get the best of it when it comes to cleaning our kitchen for the best of results so growing up cleaning was a normal duty we'd have uh, there would be me and my sisters and uh, we would delegate duties so mostly <laughs> I remember my sister used to love handling the kitchen she she loved the kitchen and then I would take over the rest of the house and um, that was like normal when we were growing up and it didn't feel like work it just feel like it just felt like um, uh, how how you would survive how you live it was just part of our culture to clean and uh, looking back now when you are an adult you come to appreciate the skill you did acquire while growing up because hey it's kind of helping you now <laughs> so here i will leave no stone unturned i'll make sure that i've identified every corner that has or that needs cleaning then I'll go for it I'll just go and clean it uh, just do a deep cleaning and um, leave the kitchen smelling nice and looking good looking fresh and healthy for everybody decluttering is also part of the process so anything that does not need to be in the kitchen should be out should be moved out we look for other spaces to keep this things that not necessarily need to be on the on the surfaces of the kitchen so um, I personally would prefer the kitchen to be uh, more open with uh, without a lot of things on the surfaces um, that way 
Mm -hmm. It kind of brings a sense of organization in a way. Like um, I mentioned earlier, my water is warm. It has detergents that we usually buy locally. And it also has bleaching agent. And th those items will make sure that we make the best out of our cleaning journey. So all this takes a lot of work and dedication. You need to set your mind to it. You need to say, today, <laughs> I want to do deep cleaning. And I am determined to make sure that I bring it to completion because it is a lot of work. But again, you need to sit, decide. And once you've decided, do it. Once you've done it, then you'll get the satisfaction. Who doesn't want a clean kitchen? Who doesn't love a, a space that you can be able to breathe? Uh, fresh air from within everybody loves such an environment so if you love it then work on it so those are my walls so of course in as much as you cannot be able to see any dirt on the surfaces but here is dust that has settled on the walls so when I come in with my small towel to wipe the surfaces over and over again, then it will start to appear brighter and brighter. So here is another counter. Uh, this surface, uh, we were baking at some point. So there is flour on top of it. Definitely it's dirty. So, um, I will like you so I added some more detergent on the surface and then some water and um, what I'm using to scratch the surface is not it's it's um it's a very firm um, cleaning cleaning item that's locally bought yes. so with the firmness it doesn't scratch the surface but it's firm enough to remove um sticky surfaces so it does a good job so from one scratch then using the cloth you can almost see the result Now done with that, now I'm um, at the sink and uh, I'll also take you through uh, what I usually do to clean it. So I'll just pour water on the surfaces. So I'm wetting the surfaces to loosen the dirt and that helps with our cleaning process. Then I'll come in with a disinfectant. Mine is in powdery form. I just pour it on the surfaces. Kills all the germs. Then there goes our bleaching agent. It's also a disinfectant as well. I'll just pour enough before we kick start the process. As you can notice, I'm on the walls, I'm scratching the walls, I'm scratching the surfaces. So I'm being firm on the surfaces to get the best of results. Yeah.
Once I'm satisfied with the cleanliness, then I'll come with I'll come in with a clean towel and wipe the surfaces. Just wipe off the water. So all done, there goes our kitchen. Have a look at it now. Looks good. On the comment section just let me know where are you watching from it would be great to hear from you trust me <laughs> just look at how clean our kitchen has turned out to be it's so clean and you definitely feel comfortable working in such a clean surface so it's very important to have a clean kitchen told you the disinfectant thing does it for me does such a good job of course alongside the detergent as well so you don't leave one for the other both of them um, give the best of results of course alongside the detergent as well so you don't leave one for the other both of them um, give the best of results. It's so shiny, it's reflecting. You can almost see yourself through it. 
yeah that's the intention to have it super clean give a glossy look and keep that cleanliness vibe you know so that was it guys if you liked the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't see you on the next one bye